I believe that the serenity prayer is a profound uh, window into the heart of God. When I ask people if they remember the serenity prayer, they, they say, it sounds familiar. And, and then I recite it to them and I say, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change those things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This prayer, so simple and yet so profound, is universal in its attraction. Why? Because none of us is completely at peace. I think in part that's because we were made for heaven. And we were made for something more than what we're living now. And so that's a good thing when we feel a little bit anxious, a little bit off kilt. But God wants for us peace and serenity. And so when we pray, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change. Well, I think we're saying I'm a human being and God, I need your help. That's a powerful prayer. It's a humble prayer. And praying is simply talking to God. If you can tell me that you feel powerless, tell that to God. Talk to him as you would talk to a friend. And once you do that, the next step is to listen. Lord, what do you have to say about my powerlessness, about the fact that I feel like I do? And when we listen, we can hear in the depths of our soul very simple things. Do this. Don't do that. Avoid this. Change what you already know you should change. And then you just got to do it. And you have to trust that even though it might seem like a very small thing that I'm doing, coupled with God's grace, it can be huge. I love this part. It's fascinating. Why? Because it's, uh, it's a real exercise in encountering God and his heart and attaching my heart to his.